Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel, Mathematics channel with really interesting, relaxing and quick questions. And in this video we have really interesting and trick question, I would say this is like satisfying algebra question, because we have like 3 plus 3 plus 3 times 0. On the first side this is like very easy question, we don't have any huge numbers right here, we have only 3, we have multiplication, we have addition, so everyone learns this operation in the second or the third grade, I don't know exactly, but everyone know about it, everyone know how to do this, but what about the correct answer. Right here we have a lot of options, we have option A, option B, option C. So it's only three options. So let's check our school knowledge, our algebra skill right here, let's pause the video and try to solve it by yourself and choose an option, write your option down into the comment section, we will check our answers here in just one minute, just swear it will be, just trust me, it will be really interesting. So here is our question, I wanted to rewrite it right here, so we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 and times 0. I want to start with this first solution, I do want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want to show this common solution. A lot of students solve it like that, I want to show this solution. So first of all, a lot of students know that if you have, like, doesn't matter what you have number on the left hand side, for example 12, yeah? If you have 12, if you multiply this 12 by 0, you will have 0, yeah? Doesn't matter what number do you have on the left hand side, for example 100, 1000, doesn't matter what huge number, maybe negative number, maybe positive number, maybe decimal number, doesn't matter what number do you have on the left hand side, the correct answer is is zero. And in this case we have some, some we have thumb right here, so we can easily add it. We have three plus three plus three, this is nine, nine times zero equal to equal to zero. So one part of students solve it like that. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. I want you to understand that right here we need to know about order of operation because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, let's look for example for this piece. DMC order of operation. This is the main popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to according to PIM DMC. And that's all this question and we will check our answers here with this zero, maybe we'll have the same answer, I don't know exactly, but let's do this. So we have this question, so 3 plus 3 plus 3 and times 0. Here is our question and let's look at this PMDMC, let's solve this question according to PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and let's go to the first step. First step, parentheses. Let's look at it, where do we have this parentheses right here? No, we don't see any of those, we don't have any parentheses, which is which is really great, okay? We just skip this part and of course with parentheses it's like more complicated question because it's like a hard calculation right here, we don't have any parentheses and it's really great. What about the next step? Exponents. So are there any exponents right here? No, we don't see any of those, I don't have any squares, cubes right here, force power, so we can easily skip these two parts, which is really great because with parentheses and exponent the question will be like more harder to solve because it's like more complicated question with these with this steps. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC is multiplication and a lot of students do this common mistake they say okay multiplication then we need to find only multiplication but we need to find as well we need to find division as well because and we multiplication and division this is one common group right here and let's look at our question let's find multiplication and division signs addition right here addition right here and multiplication right here but one really interesting moment this multiplication as you can see this contact to these two numbers this not like a whole expression we on multiply only three times zero and this is the main trick right here because we multiply only three times zero so as a result three plus three we have three plus three and plus three times zero equal to equal to zero as you can see, we completed this step, we find this multiplication sign, we multiply it. So let's go to the last step. But the last step is very obvious, a lot of maybe old students don't need this PMDMC to do this last step, because this is only addition, and we just complete this step easily, 3 plus 3 plus 0 equal to equal to 6, which is option, option, option C. And saying in other words, you need to multiply it first, then you can easily add and subtract. So we need to multiply and divide before add and subtract number numbers right here. So here is our main question, which one is correct? Of course this 6 is absolutely correct number because we solve it correctly with order of operation, in our case this is P and DMC. What about this solution? It looks like a, a correct in the first side, but it's a very bad solution, just forget, forget this solution, this is very bad, this is correct expression, but this is very bad solution because, but one really interesting moment, if you put parentheses, then it will be a correct solution, because then you need to start from this parentheses, because parentheses 
parentheses is before multiplication. So parentheses 9, 9 times 0 equal to 0. In our case, we don't have parentheses, we have like a regular expression as right here, so our answer is our answer is 6. Because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And a, a key to this order is the next. Multiplication before addition and then a correct answer. Right here tricky expression, but with parentheses we can easily create this expression absolutely correctly because we have like 9 times 0 equal to 0 with these parentheses. In our case correct answer is option, option C. So very tricky question, I hope you understand this explanation. But Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best and thank you for your time. See you in the next videos.